Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, in this celebration of the Eucharist, we ask our Lord Jesus Christ to strengthen our faith so that faith could transform us and change our lives. To prepare ourselves to celebrate this Mass, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and mercy. Lord Jesus, you healed the sick. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgave sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you gave yourself to heal us and bring us strength. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. May your grace, O Lord, we pray, at all times go before us and follow after and make us always determined to carry out good works. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated.
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, now the righteousness of God has been manifested apart from the law, though testified to by the law and the prophets, the righteousness of God through faith in Jesus Christ for all who believed. For there is no distinction. All have sinned and are deprived of the glory of God. They are justified freely by His grace through the redemption in Christ Jesus, whom God set forth as an expiation through faith by His blood to prove His righteousness because of the forgiveness of sins previously committed through the forbearance of God. To prove his righteousness in the present time, that he might be righteous and justify the one who has faith in Jesus. What occasion is there then for boasting? It is ruled out. On what principle that of works? No, rather on the principle of faith. For we consider that a person is justified by faith apart from works of the law. Does God belong to Jews alone? Does he not belong to Gentiles too? Yes, also to Gentiles, for God is one and will justify the circumcised on the basis of faith and the uncircumcised through faith. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. With the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. With the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to my voice and supplication. With the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. If you, O Lord, mark iniquities, Lord, who can stand? But with you there is forgiveness that you may be revered. With the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. I trust in the Lord, for my soul trusts in his word. My soul waits for the Lord more than sentinels wait for the dawn. With the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. Please stand. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. I wait for the Lord. For his word. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The Lord said, Woe to you who build the memorials of the prophets whom your fathers killed. Consequently, you bear witness and give consent to the deeds of your ancestors, for they killed them, and you do the building. Therefore, the wisdom of God said, I will send to them prophets and apostles. Some of them they will kill and persecute in order that this generation might be charged with the blood of all the prophets shed since the foundation of the world from the blood of Abel to the blood of Zechariah who died between the altar and the temple building. Yes, I tell you, this generation will be charged with their blood. Woe to you, scholars of the law! You have taken away the key of knowledge. 
you yourselves did not enter and you stopped those trying to enter. When Jesus left, the scribes and Pharisees began to act with hostility toward him and to interrogate him about many things, for they were plotting to catch him at something he might say. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, we have been following the treaties or the dialogue of St. Paul in his letter to the Romans about faith. And St. Paul teaches us today that the goal of Christian life is not just about fulfilling or doing the works of the law. Christian life is about being transformed, being changed. Ang buhay kristyano, sabi ni San Pablo sa ating unang pagbasa sa kanyang sulat sa mga taga-Roma, ang buhay kristyano raw ay hindi lamang pagsunod sa batas, kundi ang buhay kristyano dapat pagbabago ng kalooban. At ito ay magagawa lamang natin kung mayroong pananampalataya. If we have faith in our hearts, the grace of faith would change us in our first reading, St. Paul reminds the Christians of Rome that the grace of faith changes and transforms us from becoming sinners to becoming righteous. From being sinners to becoming justified. This is the grace of our faith transformation, and conversion. I think the best example that we will see about this is in our gospel passage today. The Pharisees and the scribes, they were experts of the law. They were followers of the law, but they were not transformed they were not changed according to our gospel today Jesus was telling the scholars of the law yes you have the key of knowledge but you did not enter hawak nyo na ang susi ng batas hawak nyo na ang susi ng karunungan pero hindi kayo pumasok. Sinasabi ni Jesus sa mga pariseyo at mga eskriba, ang alam nyo lang ay ang pagsunod sa batas, pero hindi kayo nagbago sa pananampalataya. Mga minamahal na kapatid, sa araw po na ito, itinuturo sa atin ni Jesus, hindi lamang niya hinahanap ang pagsunod sa batas, ang hinahanap niya, magkaroon ka ng pananampalataya upang baguhin ang iyong puso. I am sure many of you who are watching this online mass, usually in the morning, there are thousands who are watching this online mass. And I am sure many of you are watching this mass every day. After more than a year of following the online Mass, let us ask ourselves, what has changed in me? Was there an improvement? Was there a growth? 
Remember, my dear brothers and sisters, faith is not just about attendance in the Mass. Faith is about growth and transformation. What has transformed in me? What has grown in me? When we were seminarians, one formator priest told us that one of the dangers in attending the Mass daily is becoming a zombie. Alam niyo po ba yung zombie? Zombies do not think. They just follow. And so sometimes, when we attend Mass, we are like zombies. You attend Mass, you stand up, you sit down, you kneel, you receive communion, but there is no growth. You just follow. Sometimes we just sleep throughout the Mass. And sometimes we do not notice. You are there. You attend the Mass. But you attend the Mass like a zombie. You just follow. Is it enough? Is following the Mass enough? Is attending the Mass enough? No. Faith is not just about attendance. It is about growing, transforming yourself while praying. And so today, my dear brothers and sisters, let us ask, what has changed in me? Ano kaya ang nabago sa akin sa pag-attend ko ng araw-araw na online mass? Mas gising na ba ako sa misa? Mas excited na ba ako sa misa araw-araw? Nagbabasa na kaya ako ng salita ng Diyos? Nagte-take down na ba ako ng notes? Gumagawa na ba ako ng reflection? Mas matibay na ba ang pananalig ko? Mas malakas na ba ang loob ko? All of these we must think about today. My dear brothers and sisters, faith is not just about attending or fulfilling the law. Faith is about growth and transformation. Let us pray that in this celebration of the Mass, God may grant us the grace to grow in faith. Amen. Please stand. We ask our Lord to help us to be sincere in our actions. For every petition, let us say, Lord, make our hearts true to you. Lord, make our hearts true to you. That in our lives as members of the people of God, we may fulfill the demands of the gospel by our constant witnessing. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord make, make our, our hearts, hearts true, true to, to you. you. That we may avoid doing things for the sake of conformity or appearances. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord make, make our, our hearts, hearts true, true to, to you. you that those discouraged by our displeasing manners and behavior may return to worship by our renewed life, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord make, make our, our hearts, hearts true, true to, to you. you. That the sick may see the healing hand of God in their trials and difficulties, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, make, make our, our hearts, hearts true, true to, to you. you. That those who have departed from this life may be received into eternal glory, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord make, make our, our hearts true, true to you. you. Father, help us to come to worship with a sincere heart 
so that we may be able to approach you in spirit and in truth. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Accept, O Lord, the prayers of your faithful with the sacrificial offerings that through these acts of devotedness, we may pass over to the glory of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift, since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy, we proclaim, holy holy holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice 
and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead, and lead us, us not into temptation, temptation but, but deliver, deliver us from, from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am I'm not worthy, worthy that you should enter under my roof, roof but, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. We entreat your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as you feed us with the nourishment which comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, so you may make us sharers of his divine nature, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Panginoon, 